Okay, if my timing is correct, I've started this trip exactly a week ago. Spent the last two nights at this wonderful Airbnb place. Because goodbye, say goodbye to the dogs now. Um, there are people who are like camping out here. It's very nice, it's very beautiful. I'm a little late now for my oil check, so I gotta run. Yeah. And this was officially my last stop before Seattle. I've made it. I've made it. I drove my Camaro from Philadelphia all the way across the country to Seattle. It is mind blowing to me. Words cannot express what this means to me. And spoiler alert, this isn't even the highlight of my day. But I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, first, let me just say again that this was all filmed way before the pandemic. Uh, but anyway, as excited as I am that I just drove across uh, the United States of America, I now face a puzzling new issue. What do I do next? The whole time my plan was just to go west towards Seattle. Now I'm here and not sure what to do. I drive around the city for a while. I visited Space Needle, but the line was just way too long, so that's something to do for the next time I'm here. Um, but after a while I realized that I don't really care about being here in Seattle. But what I really want to do is just keep on driving, explore this beautiful country and keep the adventure going. I gave myself about two and a half to three weeks or so for this whole road trip. I'm eight days in now and I'm pretty good within my time frame. So I just make a quick stop. I actually break my phone screen by accident, but that's a problem I'll have to worry about on another day. And I just look for a new destination for today. Uh, I'm here somewhere in the suburb of Seattle getting gas. Uh, so far today, I thought I'd lost my driver license for a minute. Thankfully, I found it again. But while I was looking for it, I, of course, smashed my phone screen. Which is not too bad, besides the fact that I'm using my phone as my GPS. And now I can't see how many miles I'm supposed to go. Um, I'm just taking it as part of this fun adventure. And all good. Um, on my way now to the Olympia Rainforest. Very excited for that. And let's see how this goes. Yes, that's right, the whole rainforest here on the Olympic Peninsula in Western Washington State. It's a temperate rainforest, so I'm not expecting a jungle or anything like that. But still, when I saw rainforest as an option for where to go next, everything else was just immediately off the table. Let me see that again. I'm driving into a rainforest. I'm here at the... Uh more or less at the entrance of the Olympia Rainforest in West Washington, West Washington State. I am very strongly considering just doing this several hour long loop tour here around the rainforest and then starting to just take the 101 down to Oregon. Um, but right now I'm just very much looking forward to doing the drive through the Olympia Rainforest and let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm here. I'm at the Olympic National Forest Nature Trail. I will not go that nature trail, but I am in the rainforest. It is very impressive so far. I just entered and I am so giddy and I will enjoy the heck out of the next couple of hours driving. It's going to be awesome. And now, coming up, it's not only the highlight of my day, it's definitely the highlight of my whole road trip thus far. 
Okay, I'm here at the random rest area along uh, 101 North. I was actually looking for a bathroom. I found something so much better. I only, before I came here, only or before I started the camera, I only walked around the corner. Look at that, beach trail. That's exactly what caught my attention earlier. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can hear it on, on video, but here it is. The Pacific Ocean. I'm here. It is so awesome. I literally have come from one coast to the other. And now I'm going to go into the Pacific Ocean while I am in a national rainforest after driving my Camaro thousands and thousands of miles over the last seven days. And now I'm here. Take off my shoes. Should I take off my shoes? Let's take my shoes off later. I had no idea that this is here when I stopped at this random rest area. It is so gorgeous. It is so beautiful. This is where we just came down. Now let's go into the Pacific Ocean. It is pretty goddamn cold. I will only go in there with my feet. And I'm going to freeze like... Well, I'm just gonna be freezing. But it is so awesome. I am so excited. Okay, shoes off. Holy shit, I fucking made it. Now look at this. I fucking made it. Water is cold. I don't care. It is so goddamn beautiful. Holy shit. Not be any happier. Wow! I saw a sign that read Big Cedar Tree, and I figured, hey, let's go check that out. So, let's see where we find a really big cedar tree on this gravel road. Okay, I just left the car here, and there is a huge hole in the ground, okay? And let's see what this is. Now look at that. Wow. So, wow. All right. Whew. This is quite amazing. Hi, other side. Okay, it's a little after 8 local time. I'm here half a mile away from Ruby Beach where I just stopped to, took, to take a few pictures. Absolutely gorgeous breathtaking incredible uh, unfortunately one of my SD of my uh, not SD card dash cams just died so uh, fortunately I have another one with me just need to swap it all out make sure everything is working and I'm back on the road again let's hope this works um, as awesome as the trip is so far through this forest and the beach area 
because it is that awesome and I'm stopping all the time just to look around and be amazed uh, I'm actually much later than I expected to be so I will definitely drive through a lot of this during the night time which is gonna be quite exciting so yay 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 and let's see how this goes this just beautiful it is just absolutely beautiful wow all right let's see what else we find my old um, dash cam which just broke is now going completely cray cray just going on and off by itself the whole time. I just let it go, whatever. Look at this, wow. You can call me impressed. So glad I spent the day to drive through here. This trip is so worth it and it's so awesome. Wow. I just pulled over in this national park. It is. I, I just cannot describe how beautiful it is and how awesome it is. I pulled over because I saw these from the side of the road and I needed to pee. And thankfully, even out here, we know which one is the men's restroom and which one is the women's restroom. It is after 9.30 local time. It's starting to get dark. I still have a long way ahead of me. Uh, you rarely ever see any cars. As you can see, I'm standing here in the middle of the road and nothing is coming. Um, driving my car on these roads is so much fun. I do take it easy. It is a national park at the end of the day. There's a lot of wildlife and Every once in a while there is oncoming traffic. I don't know the roads, but it is still so much fun. It is so much fun. I'm afraid you can't see it very well. I'm still on the 101 North and for quite a while now I've been driving alongside the water which I'm trying to show you right now. It is so beautiful. It is so fantastic. Okay, I've arrived at Port Angeles. I guess I'm not sure uh, it's it's so funny you drive for hours through absolutely nothing and then out of nowhere you get this little city with like a 24-hour Safeway um, gas station here it's, you have people on the streets it is fascinating absolutely fascinating uh, anyway I'm getting really tired I took a stop to 
uh, you know, get some blood pumping, and I will keep on going before I fall asleep here. Okay, day eight, maybe. It is almost 6 a.m. I'm pretty cold. I had to pull over at night and uh, just sleep for a little bit in the car. I was just too tired and I didn't want to risk a crash. Very cold, very tired. I'm gonna jump in the car now, get going, and go somewhere. Just not stay here. Uh, let's see how this goes.